period. If you did a nozzle test and you get something this funny and you're doing manual pump, ink was not coming into that tank, then you can check your cap height. All right, guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to show you how to adjust your cap height. Uh, by cap height, this is what we mean. If I take this guy aside, this is the cap, right? Now, the cap performs one important function, and that is that it is where your printer head sits when it's coming from all the way there here when it's done printing. The cap is instrumental to your printing because it serves the function of suction. It serves the function of uh, ensuring that your printer is properly uh, covered so that air does not block your printer head often. So the most important thing about this cap is that it has to sit on your printer head. Now, what happens in a situation whereby this cap is not completely blocking your printer head? So therefore, it means you cannot do manual pump. At times when you are trying to pull with syringe, you notice that there is a lot of air and you don't know exactly what to do. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can raise this cap up so that it blocks your printer head appropriately so that when you do suction or when you want to protect your printer head, it works very nicely. So your machine has an embedded function that does that and it's in setup menu. So if you scroll up, you go to setup menu. Uh, it's not under print setup. Uh, it's under, under station setup. If you go to station setup, uh, the first one is station position. That's not what we need. Spurred position, no, Y pose, not that, not that, not that, not that. This is it. The cap height. So when you click on it, you see that your machine automatically lowers. Let me cancel it for you so you can see. So uh, let me quickly do something like a nozzle test right now. So I want the printer head to go back. So it will do a nozzle test like that. Uh, this is because we did not uh, cover the printer head properly. So this is basically what happens if you do not cover your printer head properly. So now in this case, we're going to do, so it has gone back to origin. So now I'm going to go back to that position right there and do station setup. I'm going to scroll back all the way to cap height. And by the time I press cap height, watch what the cap does. It will lower by itself. So it's looking for you to set the cap height. So now that it has lowered, you now have the option of using your up and down. Look here, it says up and down, right? So now if you press up, this carriage begins to go up through those gears. So watch when I press up. Can you see? The cap begins to go up, up. So you set the cap height like that, and you set it well enough so that you know it's covering the printer head. Well, how do you know if it's covering the printer head? Well, it has to sit. Let me get lights to show you what's happening under there. All right, so I don't know if you can see that. I had to bring some lights. So if you keep taking it off, can you see the tip of the cap? Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, can you see the tip of the cap there? All right, great. So you want to make sure that that tip is covering that head properly while you set it. And that's pretty much it. After you have done you know you press uh enter and then you exit right and once you exit you then go to here you come here maintenance you do manual pump again the printer head like i said requires that manual pump or else it's not going to pump right so if this cap was not sitting tightly against the printer head, this manual pump will not come out like this. So that's one way to know if your cap is not sitting properly or whether your cap is leaking. So next to that you do clean nozzle. Okay, so next to that you do clean nozzle. Right, you do clean nozzle. Again, the clean nozzle is going to require the distance between the cap and your print head. You see how crucial this cap is. To your print 
if your cap is not sitting properly on top of your head you're not going to get that to work so it's very crucial that you understand how to do these things some people don't know how to adjust cap height and that's why this video was designed specifically for you so and then this one will take some time to do its thing and by the time it's done we'll do one last nozzle test to confirm that what we set was okay so come back here do nozzle test and then now we have our nozzle test complete all right guys so that's pretty much how to do it if you did a nozzle test and you get something this funny and you're doing manual pump ink was not coming into that tank then you can check your cap height and see if that helps i hope this has helped you if it has i want you to hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on the notification bell and i'll see you in another video bye take care